So this is going to be a massive haul from Stationery Pal and the first item is a freebie that they gave to me. I didn't order this so it's always fun to have these extras and this looks like a calendar that features different flowers from every month that are probably in season during that month. And this one looks like a special stationary pal calendar that features their mascot, which is this astronaut. I think I noticed it stamped on the inside of the box when you first open it. And this looks like a little bear notepad. They all look like they should be stickers, but they're just sheets of decorative paper. Oh, I wonder if I can have it. Since Sienna has one. Maybe after I do the video. <gasps> Another butterfly one. What's this butterfly one? Oh, it's a little book. Okay. So let me finish filming this video, okay? So this is in this video? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's in the video. Look at this little teddy bear. Mommy, are you going to do Thank you. 
kind of like this pocketbook format better than the notepad format, but I think the bear design is my favorite. I've never heard of this company Norino before, but I thought I would give this a try. This is one of those things that dispense sticky tape, kind of like the Kokuyo dot liner. And it's a little bit prettier than that because it has the stars on it and it comes in these pretty pastel colors. But I've never heard of this company before. I think it may be a Chinese company, but I'm not really sure. is my favorite glue. This is by Kokuyo, the Japanese company, and it's a square glue so you can go all the way to the corner of your paper as long as you're using a square paper. So when I was trying to figure out what to buy on Stationery Pal, I searched for Kokuyo because that's the Japanese company that makes all those innovative products like erasable stamps. And I found this little cookie pastel eraser and this contains a bunch of triangle erasers so they're also interchangeable and if you need a sharp corner on your eraser you can just move one of the other triangles to the tip and it'll allow you to have a sharp corner on your eraser and the colors are also so pretty they have this whole pastel cookie line and I got a few things from this line in this haul so you guys can see what else I got I have a few different dot liners but I don't have this one I wish it was in a prettier color but blue is okay so you can lift up the cap and use it as a regular dot liner or you can put the cap on and use it as kind of a stamp So here's the other glue that I got. I got one pink and one purple, and these are a special edition. This glue won the Good Design Award for nicely designed products in Japan, and the one I have is big, but these are miniature sizes. However, Stationery Pal also has the large size and the light colors when I last checked. So next we have the Pilot Juice Gel Pens and whenever I see a box with something in rainbow color, I'm really attracted to it. And so I had to get these gel pens. I haven't tried these before and they're okay. I mean, I think the formula is nice. I think they're really pigmented and smooth and they work just like a 0.5 gel pen should. 
but I think honestly I kind of prefer the Zebra Sarasa and the Muji gel pens over this because I think they're a little bit smoother and even though the colors on this are really pretty there were a couple of colors which I felt like could have been more pigmented and didn't really match that well with the tone of some of the other colors so the pink and orange are nice but this green I wish they would have made it a little bit darker and the blue is also a little bit too light for my liking and then I like the purple a lot but I think that the blue and the green could have been better so I've had my eye on this ruler for a long time. This is a, another product that's by Kokuyo and it's a mini ruler but you can open it up into a larger size ruler and the other great thing about this is that you can draw 90 degree angles which is really nice. The only downside of this is that it only has centimeter markings, it doesn't have inches so for those of us in the US it's not as useful as it could be. I also couldn't resist this set of purple brush pens and these are the Kuretake brushables or to Americanize the word Kuretake <laughs> but um, these are dual tip pens and while you would think that one has like a thicker uh, medium tip and the other has a fine tip, no, these have two different colors in the same pen so this is really cool. What a great deal, right? You get two colors in one pen. I think more companies should do that. And purple is my favorite color, so I am in love with this set. So the tip is not super stiff, but it's also not as soft as some other markers like the Copic markers. So it's sort of a medium hardness, I guess you would say. And I am no calligrapher. I really need to practice my calligraphy and brush lettering. But one of these days, I'm going to practice and spend some time on it and hopefully it's really good. But right now, I'm a super amateur. My theory is that anybody can be good at anything. You just have to put in the time and practice. So you shouldn't be discouraged if when you're beginning something, you're awful. You should be and the more you practice the better you'll get so that's where i am with my calligraphy anyway i think it's really cool how the shades are complementary i think they must be sharing the same barrel of ink but there's probably something in the pen that causes it to come out darker on one end than the other or maybe they're two different barrels of ink who knows Leave a comment below and let me know if you're really good at brush lettering and if you are, what kind of pens you use and whether these are really good brush lettering pens or not. So I tried to do this from dark to light and now I'm on the lightest shade of purple. And one of the fun things about these brush pens is that you can um, pick up some of the darker color. I'll show you guys how to do it in a little bit, but you can make sort of a gradient letter with these. So now I'm going to do a gradient. I'm using the darkest purple and then I'm going to mix it with a lighter purple to try and create a gradient. So the darker color only really stays on the pen for a little while, so you kind of have to keep retouching it. I like to try and clean off my brush before I cap it. One of the things I'm really into collecting is lead pencils with unique features. So this is the monograph pencil and to lock the pencil you move the handle clicker up 
and then to open it you move it down and instead of clicking to get the lead down you would shake the pencil if you got a little too much lead you can push down the handle and reinsert the lead with the tip of your finger And on the tip, you have a Tombow eraser, so it's a really good quality eraser. So this is kind of fun and a little bit gimmicky. As far as lead pencils go, I think my favorite one is still the Delgarde, which is the unbreakable lead pencil. Up with Sienna? No. Sienna wanna say sorry to me and she hugged my me too tight. So this is my absolute favorite washi tape cutter. This is the Kokuyo tape cutter and I like it because it cuts with such a sharp and precise edge and doesn't have any like jagged edges like some of the tape cutters do and it's also just really easy to use. Stationery Pal seriously has the best wrapping. I love how they include all these cute little extras and opening their box is just like opening a present because of the way that they wrap it. So I couldn't remember why I chose this sticker box because the stickers were just so unexpected. It's chimney on the cover but wait till you guys see what's inside. had such a random assortment of drink stickers and there was no chimney sticker inside so it was just really weird but I like these drink stickers a lot I think they're really cute and some of them have the actual logos of the stickers on them as you will see where is our kite right um in the garage in that box this is adorable. I know I'm gonna get that since you have kids oh yeah you guys made up? Yeah. That's fine. Good morning. I'm gonna get this one. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this one. Okay. If you can have it, it's actually not yours. Mommy. So this next item is another Kokuyo item. It's a pencil case and it's by the pastel cookie line, just like my cute little eraser. So the size is really compact if you need it to be, but the magical thing about this pencil case is that it opens up and expands into a much larger pencil case, and the larger size honestly is a lot more functional for me.
And last but not least, I have this stationery case, which is perfect for journalers. And I had a little surprise inside my case. I forgot that I had ordered some of these things. So let's see, what's in my stationery pal case? This was one of those washi tapes that seemed to me like something I could get at Daiso because there wasn't a whole lot of tape on the roll, but it was still really adorable and love all these cute little characters on it. I have another pastel cookie eraser. This one is one of those clicker erasers. That kind of reminds me of something I had when I was in elementary school, but it's much prettier because it's in a pretty pastel blue color. And I got the cream soda color. I tend to prefer these kinds of erasers over the small rectangular ones just because you can be more precise and also they store really nicely in your pencil case and they don't get as dirty. I can't resist a cute paper clip and since I'm working from home and there's not really a chance that I'm gonna share my paper clips with anybody I don't really feel guilty in getting cute ones like this I thought these bear stickers were really adorable, but the only downside is that you have to use them on white paper to see them properly. Stationery Pal had really um, such a good collection of Sumiko Gurashi stickers, so I got a whole bunch of them. And I'm even going to show you guys the back of this. I think I'm going to save this because this has some really cute drawings on it too. And then I got a couple of onsen themed Sumi Kokurashi stickers. And I'm going to use this with um, a journal that I do on a couple of trips that we took to um, a ryokan near Mount Fuji where we would like, we went there to sit in the onsen basically. And here's a different set of onsen stickers. I didn't realize that I got two of them, but this one, this one has an outdoor onsen. So it feels so good to sit in the hot water when it's cold outside. It is a little odd to be naked with strangers, but you get used to it.
picked up this Days of the Week sticky memo pad, which I can use to plan my kids' lunches. I'm probably just gonna write out what I'm gonna put in my kids' lunches during the week so I can kind of coordinate and hopefully end up buying less stuff overall. So these bear stickers are like ridiculously cute, but the only problem is they have not been cut. So you kind of have to cut them out with scissors yourself and they're on this washi tape paper so they're easy to cut but I much prefer stickers that have been like pre-cut for me. On the other hand I think these ones may have been really cheap so you get what you pay for but the designs are super adorable. I like how they even made use of the backing which held the stickers. It has this cute little cutout there. I'm going to save that. The items that Stationery Pal will be giving away are pictured right here. It's this cloudy blue bullet journal set. So if you guys want to enter the giveaway, this is going to be an international giveaway so everyone is eligible to enter as long as you're over 18. You have to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to the official Stationery Pal Instagram which I will link in the description below. Like this video and leave a comment below and let me know which was your favorite item in this giveaway. And there will be one winner and the giveaway is going to end on December 15th. You have about three weeks and I will be contacting the winner by responding to your comments on this video. So make sure to check your alerts or messages and see if I commented when the time comes so that you can claim your prize. I also want to give a big thank you and shout out to my Patreons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and I will talk to you next time. Bye!